What's up guys? So are you sick of poor water pressure that's coming from your purified water or from your fridge? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to repressurize that reverse osmosis tank and get that water pressure up and running once again. Coming up. All right, so we're underneath our cabinet right now. And if you have one of these reverse osmosis systems, what happens is these tanks back here get pressurized to a certain level when they're first activated. Usually it's about five to seven PSI. And what happens over time is that that pressure ends up diminishing, it gets too high or too low, but for some reason it gets all out of whack. And the actual tank, which is supposed to be more of a bladder that kind of is a, a reservoir for the water to, to fill up and then it pushes the water throughout the rest of the system it gets filled up. And so that water pressure, the pressure itself allows, the lack of the pressure allows the tank to just fill up completely. So this thing right here is completely filled up with water. You'd think that would be a good thing because hey, great, I've got all this purified water. But what it means is that there's no real pressure to drive it back out throughout the rest of the system. So we're gonna need to evacuate the water and repressurize the tank. And then as the water comes in and out of there, the, the pressure that's in the tank will actually be able to push it out to the rest of the system. All right, so here's underneath my sink. You can see that this is the last date when I repressurized this, uh, October of 2020. It's November of 2021, so you're supposed to do this, I think, every six to nine months, so I'm definitely a little bit overdue. And as you can see from the video intro, we had very little water pressure over time, and it's because this thing is completely filled up, so there's no air that's able to, to drive it through the rest of the system. So, what I'm gonna do is, and I, I hate doing plumbing, but what I did was I turned on the water itself. So I turned the water on, and what that does is that allows the water to be unpressurized throughout the system, so it's, so it's kind of open. So leaving that valve open allows me to undo this this valve right here, and then I can just pop this thing off. I turned the valve on the top of this so that it wouldn't go, so it wouldn't start s spilling out because I got so much water that's in here. But that removes that, and then we'll we'll take this whole tank out of here and do it outside. All right, so you may recognize this drain from one of my previous videos. I did the uh, concrete drains, uh, added one of those. So this is this is the one I added here. What we're actually going to do is open up the valve right here, and it has one of these you know, bike valves you have right here. And we're gonna attach our bike pump right to here. Okay, we're gonna open this thing up. It might shoot out quite a bit. Back it up, actually. That's fine. I'm just gonna drain all the water out. Just one little note, since this is purified water in here, if you want to save it somehow and put it in some buckets, you can save it. I've actually got for the reservoir for my coffee maker. I'm just gonna fill that up because I want to use the water, but that's that's another thing you can do. Okay, so now once you are convinced that you don't have any more water in here, uh, then you're ready for the next step. You'll close the valves and actually pressurize the tank. Um, the way you can tell that is when you're pushing through, you get you just get air coming through here. So there's no more no more water in there, and tank is super super light now. So so we're good on that. So what I'm going to do is shut the valve. Okay, so I'm going to use a tire pressure gauge to see what I'm shooting for is about five to seven psi. And I got seven PSI, five, six, seven. Seven PSI is kind of that optimal pressure, a little bit too much and it's too high. You'd think that, too, that more pressure would be better, but actually 
it kind of messes up the equilibrium or something like that. But uh, yeah, you, and trust me, I've tried that. I've tried to just jack the pressure up and you just get nothing. So um, I think it has to do with the water, actually not enough water actually gets into this bladder to actually be pushed out through the, through the rest of the system. So you want about five to seven PSI optimal range. So now what we're gonna do is close up the valve and hook it back up, plug it back in, and you'll start getting water to be uh, pushing right through there. All right, now everything's hooked back up. Got my water line back in. Turn this valve back to the on position. There's another valve back, back here that I just turned on, and then I turned off my water off here so it's not just flowing out. You can see right now, it's gonna start as it pressurizes. It'll start having a lot more water come through there. We'll check back in in about 10 minutes and see if that water pressure is back up to back up to snuff. I did mark this as 11-11, Veterans Day. Thanks to all the veterans. All right, let's, moment of truth here. See how this works. All right. Awesome. All right, thanks for watching another episode of Home Projects with Carpenter. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, hit the like or subscribe button and uh, hit the bell for notifications for future videos. We'll catch you on the next one.